So here in Ireland, they reckon we have about 3,000 plant and animal species and one in four of them are facing extinction. And the big issue is that we don't know which plant or animal could be the source of our next medicine. It could be you know, something um, you know, that provides the air that we breathe or food for the, for the next generation. So we're losing species and we, we oftentimes don't even know how they, it, species interact or you know, what, what uses uh, those species might provide for us in the future. Very recently, in 2016, so there's a, an Irish red list. So these are the plants that are threatened with extinctions in Ireland. So of the, about the 1,200 plants in Ireland, about 100 of those are threatened with extinction, and 20 of those are critically endangered. So one of the species, which is a little sea cottonweed, which grows down in Wexford, there's only 13 plants left. This is a critically endangered plant in Ireland, and it's under threat from climate change, which was, which was noted as one of the drivers of biodiversity loss. Really, it looks like that we, we keep all the species that that are here on the earth at the moment, with that we don't lose any of them, because I think the original person who coined the term biodiversity was a man called E. O. Wilson, and he said biodiversity, each species is like the little rivet of an airplane. We don't know which species is actually holding the wing on the plane, but that all those little rivets are important. So if you kind of, I like to think of species in that same way, that each species of plant and animal are, are holding together this big system, and we don't know which one is going to be the weak link where the system might break. There's a good term, we need to live lightly on the planet. So we kind of need to look around us and not be affecting biodiversity in our own patch or in other parts of the world. I mean, we're globally connected now. We go to the supermarket, um, you know, we buy fruit and vegetables, you know, from all parts of the world. I would say to people, just buy local, know, know where your food comes from. We buy products from all parts of the world. We don't often even think if something is in a shampoo or a fragrance, where that actual uh, the plant or the, the, uh, or the animal, that's, that's the basis of some of these products, where they even come from, a lot of them are sourced from the wild. When we say one in four species are threatened with extinction in Ireland, this report calls us uh, to kind of wake up and say, right, those species, don't, we, we should not let them go extinct. We need to be stepping in and doing some conservation measures now to ensure species don't go extinct, because for many of them, we don't actually know what they do or what role they play in ecosystems. So I think this report is showing us that climate change is having an impact on biodiversity, alien species are having impacts on biodiversity, land use change, when we change land from being, you know, kind of the natural environment to more agricultural systems, we're changing biodiversity all the time. And we have changed biodiversity, but the thing is we're running out of uh, wild land, we're running out of uh, the places where nature holds our biodiversity that basically provides us with, with life on, on this planet. Mm -hmm.